And I started writing poetry in the fifth grade because there was a poetry contest, and I lost, but I started writing poetry, so I won. And I've been doing it ever since. Um, a lot of people say that you're not really an artist until you have an audience to show your art to. Did you feel like that? No. Yeah. <laughs> Who are these people? I know, because it's like showing your art is like really nerve-wracking. I was really happy that I started doing a blog because when you put something on display, it needs to be worth looking at. It holds you to a higher standard. If all you do is listen to Muzzy, you're not going to be great at Spanish. You're just not. <laughs> but you go and talk to people, and really quickly you start developing. It's the same thing with art. You go out there, you throw your art out there, that's like going to Spain and trying to order a coffee. It's, it's, it will be mind expanding and develop you much quicker. So that's the reason to put your art out there. It's not so you can be a real artist. Anybody who cares about being a real artist isn't a real artist, <laughs> right? It's like, I'm a skater and I wear skater clothes. Like, no, you're not. <laughs> you are an actor. Anybody who says, this is what I am is an actor. So the reason to put your art out there is not to be an artist. The reason to put your art out there is because you like your art enough that you want it to be the best <coughs> art it can be. And you don't have enough time in your life to figure it out on your own. Other people can help you. Cool? Don't be scared. Everything is drafts. <laughs> Going off of Gabby's um, question about senses, do you have like a favorite emotion to write about? There's a balance of sort of clarity and agitation that is really productive. And that wakefulness, that sense of immediacy, I really like to write about. I'm there and I'm feeling it and it feels good and I write about it. Like being right on the edge of my skin. So it's kind of like lucidity, like, kind of like passionate lucidity. Yeah, like New York. yeah. I like to write. Passionate lucidity. You should be a writer. I am a writer. Boom! <laughs> I just made change in the world. Other questions? What do you think differentiates poetry and just words? Poetry is the pinnacle of language efficiency. You're not writing a novel, you're writing a page of very dense, meaning-rich language. It's the difference between reading the first definition in the dictionary and reading all seven definitions in the dictionary and finding the word where all seven definitions mean something slightly different that makes sense in your poem and the last one's a joke. Like, that's poetry. Do you ever kind of notice what you notice in the world as a writer? I, I read something once about how writers kind of notice different things. I feel like there's a distance that some self-affected writers, I am the writer, right? Those people are like, they step back and they're like, what's the next thing I'm going to write about? Ooh, you look like a good character. <laughs> oh, what are you doing now? Oh, I bet, you, I bet you're thinking about your grandma. And, oh. <laughs> like, you know, but at some point, again, at some point, like, live your life. At some point, you're going to be like, shit, I've been watching people so much, I haven't been living my own life. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like the best way to absorb those things is, like I say, through the path of empathy. You look at people and you try and put yourself inside of them, not as a literary or a, a, a rational exercise, but just to feel it. Just because you're like, I wonder what it feels like to be you. Oh, curiosity, right? Like, what did all five of my senses just go through? That's a rewarding experience as a human being, not as a writer. So, writer schmider. That, like, everybody should do that. Like, so do you have a favorite poet? William Blake. I like William Blake. I like Paul Simon. I like Stephen Colbert, if you want to expand <laughs> your definition of poetry. If you listen to, if you just take the transcripts of some of those shows, that's poetry. That is poetry right there. So yeah, I have a lot of writers who inspire me. I wouldn't say they have to be writers who write what I write. It's just people who use language well inspire me to, to step up my game and to use language well also.